Dr. Gang Green Presents is made possible in part by Rick's Comic City. Greetings, Fright fans. Dr. Gang Green here. Welcome to Dr. Gang Green Presents. We're here live at the Ghouls at Grassmere at the Nashville Zoo. This is an opening night for the Halloween festivities, so we thought we'd come to you live from the zoo, show you some of the fun stuff they've got going on. Now, we'll be coming back and forth between the breaks, so tune in. We're going to show you some of the cool stuff, the Haunted Hayride, other things. But for now, we'll get back to tonight's movie and see you back here in a few. <laughs> came from the skull of a murderer. And you still wanted to kill. But with the right brain. The brain of an intelligent man. A good man. Where do I find it? We'll be back with more of Dr. Gangree Presents live here from Ghouls at Grasmere at the Nashville Zoo after these messages. <laughs> hey, what do you think you're doing? Did you know that recycling just one soda can power a television for up to three hours? Not to mention that aluminum can be recycled an unlimited number of times. Always be sure to place your cans in a recyclable container. Remember, you can make a difference. Hold it right there. 
Don't you know that wherever litter starts, it moves? From parks to streets, from highways to waterways, wind and weather move trash around the community, spreading disease and creating hazards for animals and wildlife. Always clean up your own mess and dispose of trash in a proper receptacle. You pack it, you sack it. And remember to go green with Dr. Game Green. Hey, this is Dr. Gang Green. Welcome back to Dr. Gang Green Presents. Tonight we're here live at the Nashville Zoo for Ghouls at Grashmere. This is opening night of their Halloween festivities, so we thought we'd come out here and broadcast to you live. I want all of you to come out here and visit Ghouls at Grashmere. It's open every weekend for the Halloween season until the end of October. So come on out here Friday, Saturday, Sunday and visit the Nashville Zoo. For now, we're gonna send you guys back to the movie, and I'll see you back here in a few. We'd like a room for tonight. Yes, madam. This way, please. The room will be ready in a few minutes. Some hot grog for the gentleman. It was a long trip. It's going to be worth it. I'm sure of it. I hope he can help me. He will. You must believe that. I want to, but I can't hold out much longer. I'm tired, Christina. Sometimes I wish I'd go to sleep and never wake up. Don't do it that way. You are not going to die. You will be helped by Baron Frankenstein. Get the carriage. Tonight? Get the carriage now. I am Baron Frankenstein. Oh, well, my name is Halbert, Paul Halbert. This is my wife, Christina. Oh, please. Thank you. I hope you'll forgive us for intruding on you at such a late hour. Oh. Well, allow me. Right over there, please. Your husband appears to be quite ill. What brings him out on a night like this? A matter of life and death. Of life and death? Yes, you were right, Baron. My husband is ill, critically ill. We've come here to ask your help. I don't understand that. I'm not a physician. We know that. We've heard about your work. I, I still don't understand. We've heard you can create life. If that is true, you must also be able to prevent people from dying. I'm afraid facts have a peculiar way of becoming distorted, Mrs. Halbert. Well, it is true, I uh, was once involved in certain experiments with animals, uh, research on prolonging the span of life. Uh, but as for humans, uh, uh, that kind of experimentation is against the law. We're not here to spy. If you're concerned about ethics... There's then... really nothing to be ethical about. Well, then, if it's a matter of money, here. I have my jewels. Everything we possess. You are placing an exaggerated value on my lack of knowledge. Baron, please. 
Well, have this. We are good hands. Are you an artist? A sculptor. You will help him. I wish I could. But I'm afraid I cannot work miracles. I suggest you take your husband back to the village, Mrs. Halbert. Any physician can do more than I can. You're telling us to leave. Time and things are heating up, so when you go out, it's important to drink plenty of fluids. <laughs> but did you know that single use plastic bottles account for over 5 billion tons of litter each year? What's worse, they don't decompose and will still be sitting in landfills thousands of years from now. Do your part by using reusable containers and drinking from taps and fountains. And if you do use plastic bottles, be sure and place them in a recycle bin. So let's put a cap on litter and go green with Dr. Game Green. Welcome back, Fright fans. We're here on the Scarousel at Ghouls of Grassmere at the Nashville Zoo for their Halloween festivities. Let's take a quick look around and then we'll get back to tonight's movie. Ooh, wah -ah. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, in sure and certain hope of the resurrection unto eternal life. Amen. Mrs. Halpert, somehow I feel guilty. That's very charitable of you, Baron. Unfortunately, your sense of guilt will not bring my husband back. Come back before sunrise and finish the job. I must close the grave. Leave it open until sunrise. I'm taking a chance if they find out.
I hope you will forgive my disturbing you. But there is a question I'd like answered. Why wasn't my husband's grave properly closed? Oh, Halbert, but... I believe you were at the funeral. Halbert? Oh, 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 of course, certainly. Why wasn't the grave closed? Would you believe it, madame? I was on my way to do just that. Well, I'm afraid you're a few hours late. The grave has already been violated. Why? Oh, no, that is impossible. No, it must be your imagination. I don't believe the police will think it is my imagination. Nor do I think they will take a light view of your leaving a grave unsealed all this time. I'm sure they have laws about that. Please, madame. It was not my fault. I had instructions. What do you mean, instructions? From whom? The name does not matter. Well, it matters to me. I'm sure it will matter to the police. Oh, please. I beg you, madame. It is the only work I know. The name of the person. Baron Frankenstein. <laughs> What are you doing here? At the funeral. When you told me you had a sense of guilt, I didn't believe you. I know now I was wrong. I'm afraid I do not understand. Keeping up this pretense is useless. I saw the gravekeeper at the inn. He told me everything. What are you talking about? He told me you were the one who paid him to leave the grave unsealed. But do you believe the rantings of a, of a drunken sot? I might not have. Except for this. The locket. It was buried with my husband. I found it outside the grave. How did it get there? Unless you changed your mind. Mrs. Halbert, take my advice. Go back to your family. Stop looking for miracles. Oh, no. Let me see. He's him. dead. He's buried. You saw it with your own eyes. Now, will you please leave? What have you done with him? Who's up there? Your name is Halbert. If you remember and understand, lift your hands. You can think. You can remember. Your brain is alive again, Halbert. It can function. It has intelligence. You wanted life, and I have given it to you. Yours was the brain that I needed. And it's the brain that makes it all work. Now listen. Do what I tell you. Sit <gasps> down.
I shoot! Stop! Any closer. to ask him to commit a crime against God. The life you had was brief, but it was decent and good. Now, don't destroy everything now because of a hideous face and grotesque body that aren't yours. Please. Robbing graves, Baron, is a serious offense. I will have to place you under arrest. You have your job to do. And so have I. And I don't think either of us would let anything stand in the way of fulfilling our respective destinies. Time is of small matter. You see, there's always tomorrow. That about wraps it up for this week's episode of Dr. Gang Green Presents, live here from Ghouls at Grasmere. Now I want all of you to come out to Ghouls at Grasmere, get the Halloween season started right, and enjoy all the fun festivities. Until next week, Dr. Gang Green saying, stay mad. <laughs>